Gaffer, another home win today against Walsall. Can I get your general thoughts on the performance? Uh, performance or the game? I think the game in general, it's one of them. I think if I would have had to pay to watch it, I would have got my money back. I thought it was um, just one of them sloggy games that you just got to, you know, we've come off the back, not making excuses, but we had a very tough game up at Newport. They had a tough game, you know, they're safe, good people, good people run their club. You know, they had a go, we had a go, and I think we was the ones that got the goal that mattered and, yeah, keeps the run going. I suppose they're the type of games that before we wish we had more of those 1-0 wins where we get the three points. You might wish we had more of the 1-0 wins. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This time last year, we would have lost that, I think. Um, but it shows a mentality. Like, we only had three, four subs today because we, we, that's all we are. We got three injured again. You got Sam comes off again today. I don't know what it is. It's just never ending. I think I must have shot an albatross or something. But um, no, listen, it's a compliment to all the boys. We stuck at it again and we won. So let's, let's hope it carries on. And the crowd were waiting for one of the players just to hit one and Isaac Hutchinson just did that, didn't he, outside the box there? I don't know about the crowd. I nearly hit one of the players. I don't know anything else. Um, yeah, but that's what we say, shoot. If you don't shoot, you won't score. And um, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's difficult. It's a very difficult time to be critical of anyone after you win 1-0. And I'm not being critical of anybody whatsoever because the lads today put in a hard, hard shift. But that's unfortunate. That's called football and that's what you get paid to do. And that's how you win things. You got, to, you know, we got to get that consistency going against a tough side. You know, don't get me wrong. That, that, if you would have let them play, they would have played. But it was good to see Lynchy do a full game. You know, it was good to see like Essie and Hutch and Sam Matthews. Bless him, he's got injured again. You know, I don't know where it's all going to end. That's four home wins in a row, three clean sheets in a row at home. It's brilliant stuff. Well, I'm glad you uh, listen. I, I'm not saying that to be uh, blasé, but. That don't bother me because a few months back we didn't know what we was doing at home and we couldn't win a game and why are we so rubbish at home and why are we letting too many late goals in and it's people you, you, listen I, I keep saying to you we've got a good squad here and if we can build on it next year and if we would have had the players fit all the time this year who knows where it would have been but we'll keep going mate we ain't going to give in anywhere and let's just keep doing and see what happens and I mentioned those three consecutive clean sheets. Have you noticed defensive improvements towards the end of the season? Not really, no. Except we ain't letting goals in, so there must be something improving. It, it, it's confidence. It's confidence because, you know, we are, a, we are. I think you've seen it yourself at the training ground. The lads are all sticking together, you know. It, it's, just a, it's just as hard to keep a clean sheet as it is to score. So, one, you know, it'd be nice sometimes if we do get two or three or four or five to take the pressure off you a little bit, but... That's the game. That's the game. You know, you got to grind it out, and we've worked on it in training. We've worked hard at it. You know, we've worked hard at keeping, um, keeping going. We've worked hard at defending. We've worked hard at striking. Believe it or not. But the, 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 listen, it's all down to the team, mate. They're good, good people. They won't let the people down that come and watch. And it was brilliant to see those ten deals go over the line announced just before the game. There. What ten deals? I don't know what you're on about. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was good, but then, like I say, it leads you that stability um, going into next season. It's nice to go on a beach somewhere on holiday, knowing that you're only looking for four or five other players to come in. Um, and it proved today there were some of them out there today trying to earn contracts. That's what you want. You want competition. It's not coming out of Crawley and finish your career off. We want people to start pushing on and pushing the club up. It's good for the Americans. You know, they've backed everything at the minute. They've got behind everything. As I said to you, we've got to create our own atmosphere at this ground. But I can understand why it was a little bit flat today, because we was as flat as a, a pancake that had been run over, I mean. Obviously, exciting games to come now to extend the unbeaten run towards the end of the season. Um, let's hope they're exciting. We, we, yeah, we, listen, we, all we're going to do is do whatever we do every week, which is try and win a game. But don't keep forgetting, I keep telling you this, as best for you, that there is other teams. Other teams are setting up to beat us. So no, there's no such thing as an easy game. No such thing. So we're just enjoying it. You've got to enjoy winning. You know, we take enough stick when you don't. So, yeah, we just keep going and see what happens. Thanks, Gaffer. Thank you. Will, congratulations. Man of the match today and also another 1 0 win at home. Yeah, it was good. I think um, we've played a lot better than that, but we're clearly finding a way to win, and that's all that matters, really. Three points. Um, and I think we're showing improvements as, as a team in how we win. So, yeah, buzzing with it. 
There's plenty of records being set at the moment. That's four wins on the bounce at home. We've got three consecutive 1-0 wins here. We're looking pretty solid at the moment. Yeah, we're full of confidence. Like I said, I think uh, we're just finding a way to win. I think earlier in the season we wouldn't necessarily have uh, been as convincing as that and won, whereas we're just finding ways to win. Um, that's all that matters really, isn't it? It doesn't matter in the end of the day how you play as long as you win. So. I know there was a place for you in the EFL team of the week on Friday and same again today, a great performance. How are you feeling sort of individually in your own performances at the moment? Um, same as everyone really, just confident. Obviously it helps when you're winning, it helps when you get a bit of recognition. I know it doesn't mean much, but yeah, I've just I think buzzing to play. Just excited to get out there and obviously try and impress and help the team, but yeah, I'm loving it. And obviously Walsall were a good side today, plenty of chances for them, but we, we kept them out and we got the clean sheet in the end. Yeah, it was a bit of a gritty performance, but sim almost similar to at their place. For the last 10 minutes, we were a bit under the cosh, but I think we still look solid. Um, they caused us a few problems, but I think we're just showing how solid we are at the minute. And Like I said, we're, we're just on a good run of form. I think we're confident that we can almost sit behind the ball if we're in it, having a bad period and just defend it and see it out. So I think that's a good, good sign of a team. Obviously yourself and Tills at the moment playing fantastic in those wing back sort of roles. How are you finding it in that position? Um, it's good. It's hard. It's it's hard work, but it's what you get in football. I think we're enjoying that bit of freedom almost. So just the whole side, just get up and down, do do your defensive duties first, and then just go up um, and attack. And I think that's what we're me and Tills are best at doing. So it gives us that bit of freedom, and I like to think we're showing what we can do with it. So it's good. And as a side this season, we know with injuries, we never have everyone fit on the same pitch at the same time. But finally today, at the end of the game, we got to saw Tony Craig, Tunnicliffe and Joel Lynch all in there together. Must have felt nice for you. Yeah, it's good. It's just, like I said, that feeling of being solid. Three of um, three solid defenders when they've all played. I think, I think our defensive form's ten times better. So it's good. And it's just mad with injuries. So I don't know what's going on. I've never experienced anything like it. We seem to get everyone back and then a few fall away again. But... We're still getting through it and we're, we're performing to our best, so it's always a plus when them players come back. And obviously four games to play, but 12 points to play for. Still some decisive points in there so far. Yeah, we're just trying to get as many points as possible. We take this form into next season and this is how we've seen it. Uh, a chance to take the momentum to the end of the season and into the next. And hopefully uh, we just get as many points as possible. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And will you tell the fans what a great man John Yems is? Oh, yeah, fantastic man, yeah. Great, great gaffer. Uh, very honest, but we love honesty in this game, so yeah, it's good. Thank you, Will. Yeah, Thanks. <laughs>